inmate? Am I in jail? Am I locked up? Because dudes be bugging. So what is up you guys? I'm back with another video. It's your girl Nation G, also known as Glam is T. And if you're new here, welcome to the family go! And if you already subscribed, then you already know how this go. Um, I'm here with a chit chat, get ready with me. I am ranting about a lot of different things in this video, so I really hope it's not all over the place. But the gist of the video is what's going on in my life and what I'll be doing within the new year in 2021 with you guys, taking you along my journey and truly battling with the new year i know we all came in 2021 with high high hopes um mine is off to a a different kind of start but i just know that god is going to bless me and we're gonna have a bomb you know rest of the year new year new robe y'all see it y'all feeling it y'all feeling the cheetah i got tired of the black ones so i got a new robe to be doing videos i did um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and if you want to see this look or hear your girl talk about some things keep watching bye guys Mwah. Okay, y'all, so like I said in the intro, this is going to be a chit-chat, get ready with me. So I just applied my wig with my olive oil super hot spray, but now I'm about to style her. I'm going to spray through this part because, y'all, I did a how I apply my wigs. If you didn't see that, I will link it above. And I'm going to just throw some, like, curls in her. So let's get through that part, right? Right. So my hair is done partially. I'm gonna tweak it. I just want it like big, like I guess big bed curls or you know just a lot of volume. I didn't want my hair to look flat. It is freshly washed, so we all know how lace looks when it's freshly washed. But this is the hair. Um, I'm going to pop back off camera. I know y'all probably like girl, just get ready with me. You ain't getting ready. Um, and do my brows because my brows be taking forever, and I feel like on camera they be acting like they don't know what's up. So I'm gonna get off, do my brows, put my hair on so we can beat this face, and I can talk to y'all and tell y'all what's been going on with me. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm back. The brows are done. Um, I use my Morphe. I'm rather. I'm not gonna tell y'all the products I'm using. If y'all want a step by step updated, um, everyday makeup look, then I will give it to y'all. But right now we're getting we talking about what's that? Oh, oh no, the backdrop. We talk about a life update. So what is really good? I moisturized my face, but now we're going to prime. Um, what primer am I going to use? What is up, guys? It is 2021, and we're a few days in, and I'm not feeling to the best. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That's the one thing I'm always gonna be with my with my glam fam is honest. And I have like three mirrors right now. So if y'all see me looking around, that's why. I'm gonna always be honest with y'all. And honestly, I'm not feeling the very best. Um, I know, okay, boom, let me start over. 2021, coming in, I'm coming in optimistic. I'm coming in happy. I am a happy person. I'm, I, you know, I try to be every day. I choose positivity. And recently, I don't know. I feel like I want more for myself. And I want more than what life is giving me right now. And I know, you know, you got to work. And I have no problem working, right? So my prayers have always been, God, got my feet, hold my hand and show me the way. You know? So I just feel like God is about to do some things in my life that I personally can't see right now. And I think that's what's upsetting me. Um, but not feeling good enough. So right now, let's just talk about self-care self-love it is a ongoing struggle for anyone to be confident wake up every day with a positive attitude be their very best and you know thrive you know i i don't i don't say i don't come from nothing because that ain't that ain't the case but i don't come from where i see myself ending up i'll say that you know i want so much more for me and i think that's what's 
been on my mind, you know? And am I going to be successful? Am I going to be good enough? Am I going to be able to do the things I desire to do? Um, that's been on my mind heavy lately. And I know we all want to think working hard um, and going hard is the way to go. But like, is it? Like, I'm getting my master's. There's no guarantees that I'll have a job after my master's, you know? There's no guarantee it'll pay off. And I think that's what scares me a little. Uncertainty scares me. I don't know about nobody else. You know? So that's what's been on my mind lately, guys. Um, I don't know. And then, you know, I, I had to sit down and ask myself, why YouTube? I've been on YouTube now for three years. I, why influencing content creating? I've been on in YouTube now for years, and my channel has not popped off, taken off to the extent that I would like it to. You know, I love every single one of y'all, all 300, and I don't really know the number of y'all. Y'all gave me 300 for Christmas, and I, you know, I'm so thankful for that. But why keep going if you feel like no one's paying attention? You know, why keep pursuing it? And the answer is simply because everyone has a story, and it don't matter how big your platform is, you never know who your story is going to touch, you know? And I, I told you guys a little bit about my faith walk and my upbringing and my childhood. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it. But I believe I have a story that is like no one else's. Um, and did I mix my foundation? I didn't. I'm looking like that ain't right. <laughs> um, it's, un it's unique, you know, just like everyone else's story. It's very unique. Um, and a lot of times I look at my story and I cry. I'm not about to get emotional in this video, boo, because I'm doing a full face. <laughs> Can't get emotional. There we go. Can't get emotional. But it's just like a lot of times I question, why me? Why, why me, Lord? And even now, it's just like he gave me a little platform that will grow. We small, but we mighty into a big old tribe and it's gonna i'm gonna look back at these videos and be like that's why that was your why that's why you kept going it's a little girl out there right now with a mom or a dad who's sick and she is questioning will she be good enough will she make it and i'm here to tell that little girl yeah i'm here to tell a little girl it's not your fault that your parents are sick it's not your burden to carry if your parents are sick um, you know, it's a little girl out there with an absentee father and she's questioning, was I good enough? And the answer is, you're good enough. It wasn't you. It's what they chose and they can't help it, you know? It's not that they chose something over you. It's just the fact that they know no better, so you can't expect much from them. That's my story. Um, not getting emotional. That's my story. I come from a household who a mom who was sick at the age I was in the fourth grade um so how old was i y'all do the math um and a dad who was in that jail and those are the questions i asked god like god why my mom had to be sick why i had to be the one with the sick mama you know why did i have to be the one with the father who couldn't get it to, couldn't get it right for me you know why couldn't he choose me pick me you know over whatever he was doing to keep landing him in situations where he couldn't be in my life that's my story and it's it's sad to some but it's inspiring to others because I, I my story inspired the hell out of me and i ain't to toot my own horn but my life could have went a hundred different ways on a hundred different days baby and that's the truth like just being with a mom who like my mom wasn't there she couldn't be there because she was sick like i could have been partying doing drugs drinking doing a whoop de doo real early in life you know and been in some uncircum unsafe circumstances that could have landed me in jail, you know, God forbid, you know, hurt or violated inappropriately, like anything could have happened. So I always look back like, wow, it was nobody but God who was covering me the way he was, you know? But now I'm at a point where it's just like, I want more. I know where I see myself going and I know, ooh, ooh, light falling. I know exactly what I can do, God, but I need you to give me the tools to do it. I ain't never been afraid of hard work. I have never, hear me when I say this, Glam Fam, I have never been afraid of hard work because I knew from a very little, from a very little girl, I was gonna have to work a little bit harder than everybody else. Um, and that's all us brown skinned girls out there. We know, we, you know, you gotta be the best in the room. You gotta, 
you got you got to be loud, but you can't be too loud, cause then you get a. You gotta be smart, but you can't be too smart, or then you gonna scare somebody off. I was never that girl. I I was gonna be loud. I don't care if y'all thought it was ghetto. I was gonna be loud, but I was gonna be correct. I was going to stand out, but I was gonna be respectful because if I'm not disrespecting you, you can't disrespect me. That's always been my mentality. Like, no, don't. You're not about to put me in no corner. No, ma'am. Teachers used to be like, oh, she's a great student. She talks a lot and she can spark a debate. Every teacher said that about me and I'm still that way. So, you know, I got this fire in me and I had this fire in me since I was a little girl. And it's just like, is the fire worth feeding anymore? Is it going to pay off like and I think a lot of us who are in their young 20s I'm a young 20 something boo period um we feel that we 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 get in these we, in these spaces it's just like is it worth it is it going to pay off you know because you see people who are in their 30s and their 40s and may have never used a degree or you know you go hard to get this degree to graduate and then a pandemic hits and the, the, the you know the, the job market is trash you know it's just so many things stacked against young black women um on top of just our own you know our own thoughts you know but with everything that's stacked against me god gave me the spirit of resilience i say that all the time i think that's one of my best my favorite qualities about myself i bounce back and I seen a quote on Instagram the other day and it was like, be careful with the people that bounce back because baby. And I, when I seen that post, I giggled because <sighs> if you ain't never been through nothing, you don't know what it's like to bounce back, man. And I seen a lot at a young age. Like, y'all don't even know. But at the same time, it, it handicapped you because and I'm and I'm saying this and I don't I don't mind saying it out my mouth. A lot of people won't say it like it, it, it ain't no problem, but it is. It handicaps you because you get so dependent on you it's hard to ask for help it's hard to let people in it's hard to believe that somebody's gonna come in here and do exactly what they say they're gonna do because you're used to people saying stuff and dipping out leaving you know not finishing their tasks you know or just not being around to count on in general so it does handicap you but at the same time you know you gotta learn i'm learning you know i'm learning that it's okay to let people in just a little bit and that's what i want to do with you guys here on youtube my mom even said it like you're you're so guarded and i've always been guarded but she's like you're guarded on youtube she's like you want the people to see the real you you gotta let your guard down a little bit so that's what i'm trying to do with you guys this year let my guard down a little bit you know see the real me i want y'all to see the silly me the emotional me the happy me of course y'all seen me emotional before uh, but i get emotional with happy stuff i get emotional watching proposals like y'all y'all don't even know but that's my goal going into 2021. So let's go talk about goals real quick. We're six or seven days into the year and it has been a shit show. Um, my goals I have for this year are unlike any other year because they're super intentional. I, I've written goals list for every other year, but this year with my goals, I wrote them in detail. So I wrote new car, but I wrote the car, kind of car that I want. I wrote new apartment, but I wrote where? I wrote acceptance, but I wrote to what schools? Um. I wrote a number down to reach on Instagram, on YouTube, my platforms to grow because I want to get intentional. Like we always put down goals and we say, I want to try my new bronzer. Let's see. Um, we always say, you know, we put down our goals and we speak our goals, but we don't say them with detail. And I think that's where a lot of times we fall short because you asking God for a new apartment, but where at? You asking God for a new job, but what do you want to do? You asking God for to grow your channel, but you don't know the specific number, you know? So I, oh, that is, that's that's dark enough. I thought it was gonna be too late. Hmm, if you last, watched my last vlog, then you would've known that. Make sure you watch. Um, my biggest goal, as somebody asked said, you know, you can't do things out of vanity. My biggest goal when it comes to Instagram, YouTube, building my tribe, is always to be inspired. I want y'all to look at me, a little girl from Jersey, with an absentee father, with a sick mama, with the, st the car stacked against her, with no real money to go to college but did it. I want y'all to be like, if she could do it, I could do it. Because I know we look at a lot of YouTubers and Instagram girls who 
pop up on the scene and they already have their bag together they already have things in the works you know or they were cute and had a big following and then decided okay i'm gonna get on youtube i wanted y'all to look at me and be like dang she really started from the bottom she started from 100 little followers 50 followers and kept posting i don't care if 11 people view the video i'm speaking to them 11 people and i want y'all to know and i want y'all to be like yeah she's an inspiration that's what i want y'all to get from me from all my content and i also and i always want y'all to see god through me that's my biggest goals with anything that's my biggest goal i want y'all you know i'm not here to preach i don't want to preach to nobody i won't say i don't want to but i don't want to feel like oh i'm forcing god down your throat nope i don't want you to feel that way if you believe in something else cool if i can show you the way i talk to god and how he i am with him and it inspires you to get down on your knees and pray baby then i did something but at the end of the day i'm gonna keep sharing my story and my journey because at the end of the day i never know who it's going to inspire hold on this smell different i know that's right morphe this is their holiday collection Y'all, it smells so. It smells so good. Ooh. I like that. Um, but that's always my goal. Always my goal. This is actually dark enough. And that's what I, you know, when I when I was watching the live and she said it, and I'm like, well, yeah, what is it that you want your audience to get from you? You know, you gotta know that and you gotta work on that. And I always want y'all to be inspired. Cause when I like I always say it, when I hit. 100k when i hit a thousand when i hit 500 it's gonna be like wow i did that y'all did that with me my family did that little old me y'all want to see what little old me is up to y'all want to y'all want to keep up with your girl you know and i want to take these journeys with y'all i want and i want y'all to always feel like i'm somebody to turn to i understand we won't know each other personally every single one of my subscribers but i want it to feel that way I want you to be like, oh yeah, that's my sis right there. <laughs> that's my sis right there. My sis pray, my sis twerk, my sis drink, my sis, she 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 she, she go to church, she do it all. That's the homegirl I want to be because why not? You know, why not? There's so many people out there. Hold up. Like I said, they were a cute girl on Instagram. They had 9,000 followers and it was like, hmm, I'm cute. Let me start an Instagram. Let me start a YouTube channel. Nah, I feel like God called me to do this. I'm on assignment. So mine is always going to take a little bit more work and it's always going to be a little bit harder, but I'm going to keep showing up for myself and I'm going to keep showing up for y'all. Like that's just really how I, I'm going to just use this because I don't feel like going in the other palette. I'm going to just use this brown because, you know, dang, God, God dang, couldn't get this out. But I want y'all to feel like, you know, like I said, I'm that, I'm that inspiration, you know, even if it's one or two people, that's always the goal. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to do things in vanity. Like she said, I don't want to just be cute. I've been being cute my whole life. I'm on assignment now. It's time to get to work. And I wanted to just really do this chit chat with you guys because I have, I, I ain't off to the best start, you know, and I wanted to let y'all know that's okay. Cause we all have such high expectations for ourselves for the year. And it's okay if it ain't off to the best start, but just believe that God is going to bless. Like I said, my my dreams and my and my hopes are not ordinary, so I'm not treating them as such. That's just it. That's just it. You know, I had somebody tell me one time, like, what? You're a regular girl. And I said, I had to correct them real quick. I said, don't you ever disrespect me. <laughs> don't you ever disrespect me, baby. Ain't nothing about me regular. God got his hand on me, so how could I ever be? Period. And he was like, nah, I ain't mean it like that. And I'm like, nah, you, you, if that's how you view me, that's cool. But I'm going to have to get on away from you because I don't view myself that way. I don't. Um, and I had to realize that too. And for a long time, I just, I think I was with the mindset of doing it for vanity. Oh, I'm pretty. I should have more followers and subscribers. I'm cute. I dress this and what she don't even know when you on assignment it's different when you on assignment it take a little bit more time when and then when you realize that i think that's when god really shows out for you so i'm wait I'm, I'm willing and i'm waiting and i'm able to do exactly what he want me to do and i feel like this is it so i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep posting and when we blow up God gonna be right there, right with us, yeah. Cause if it wasn't for him, 
<laughs> if it wasn't for my God. Other than that, in my life, guys, this year, let's talk about smaller goals. Um, keto, boom, I'm day six, seven, six, seven, whatever day it is, I'm like, I'm day five, I'm day six keto, back fully keto. If you don't know what the keto diet is, I'll have it on the screen. Um, it's high fat, low carb, very low sugar. All right, I'm back. I lost about 40 pounds during quarantine when everybody else was eating Cheetos and your girl was eating bacon and eggs. Um, which you'd be like, bacon and eggs? No, that's keto. You know, high fat. So lots of eggs, lots of meat, lots of protein. Um, but I didn't film it. I didn't speak about it. I just kind of did it because I wanted to see if it really worked. And it worked for me. So I have something to be losing weight for. I'm not going to share exactly what it is. Um, we going to call it, do you want a fat ass journey? That's what I've been calling it. Do you want a fat ass? And I'll be telling myself yes. And then I'll be saying yes. And then it's like, well, then you better be eating that keto. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to be working out, eating right. I'm going to show you guys. If you guys want a full keto, what I eat in a day, I will be dropping that. Um, my workout plans, all of that. All of it. I'm going to put my lashes on. My lashes are on. They are by Lush Life Lashes. I will link her down below. I don't know if she sells lashes anymore, but she be selling really cute stuff. She's a little boutique, y'all. That's my home girl. Go check her out. Support black businesses. Um, but yeah, I um, the journey is do you want a fat ass? And you know the answer is yes. Yeah, so I be I'm be eating eggs and bacon and showing y'all what it is. You know, I'm gonna be real transparent with it. It ain't always easy. I always been a healthy girl. You know your girls. Your, your girl's thick, and I don't have no problem with being thick, baby. But you know, you gotta be healthy too. Um, so that's a big thing, and y'all will see on my channel this up and coming year. Um, as well as I want to do more beauty, I want to do more fashion, I want to definitely do more lifestyle. I want to vlog. My vlogs don't do as well as some things on my channel, but I love vlogging. I want to be a lifestyle content creator and influencer. So I don't get this. Y'all don't get these vlogs. I don't get this content regardless. <laughs> like, that's really, that's really the vibes. Y'all get in the content. So tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to your girl because your girl is giving the girls what they want. Um, want to see, you know? And can I just touch on really quickly how I've noticed with bigger influencers, the trend of how lighter influencers are who, get put on first or are not popping into the hangout with like light flu influencers and content creators yep y'all want something about that though people be having such dope content and they be so much smaller than some people and i'm just like how don't y'all see this because like, she's popping how don't y'all get it and maybe it's me baby but it's just like she should be so wonderful you know maybe that's just me but that's just how i be looking like homegirl should be at 100 okay but you know Maybe that's not what God has for her at the time. This is the life I live. The life I live! This is, that's how 2020 went. And 2021 is looking the same. I know that's not right. You know, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to worry about Tanisha, worry about Glamis T, Nasia G, Ole, 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 and worry about me getting put on, you know, and my, and my little family, and my little subscribers, and my tribe. I really love y'all. Y'all be showing out for your girl um, on Instagram and stuff. If you're not following me on Instagram, it'll be right here on the screen, but it's Nasia G, underscore, 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 five, underscores, skurs. <laughs> um... You know, I love y'all. I say it all the time, and I, it's because I really do mean it. Like, and it's not no love. Like, oh, like you know, we we know each other. Love. Like, it's people I don't know who support me, and I just be like, yo, that's my family. That's my tribe right there. That's my glam fam for real. Like, oh, I can't wait to be able to spoil y'all the way I really want to and live the life that I want to live. And I'm gonna show y'all every piece of it. We coming from the bottom. We getting it out the mud. Per, per, 
period like we're gonna get out the mud like literally we're watching y'all are watching it before your eyes and it's gonna be it's gonna be a part of the testimony that's just it no more no less get to work nobody cares we're carter that's just how i be talking to myself it'd be harsh but it's the truth um what else in my life update dating oh my god i'm almost over my makeup but can we talk about dating because am i an inmate Am I in jail? Am I locked up? Because dudes be bugging. Y'all, I don't know what it is about our generation that thinks we need to talk for two months before we go on a date. But I'm not doing that. I'm not getting to get I'm not getting to I'm not getting to know anybody through text messages. That's dumb to me. That's so dumb. Like I don't understand. And I don't want to be nobody's pen pal. Again, am I an inmate? Why do guys think texting as getting to know getting to know somebody? And don't get me wrong, I understand we in a panorama, we in a pepperoni, we in a pizza hut, we in a pandemic, but there's things open and I'm in a state where a little extra powder, it's a lot of ass. I'm in a state where things are technically fairly open. So there's ice skating, I didn't go see the Christmas lights boo. There's different things to do, and dudes just wanna text all day. I'm not being nobody's text buddy. Are we Are we in high school? We're grown. We could go get Starbucks. Y'all know I love me a Starbucks. I mean, that's not my ideal day. And I'm not saying a slide in my DM like, yeah, let's go get Starbucks. I ain't saying that. But I'm just saying, if, it, if we both busy and it's like, okay, I've really, you know, we've been texting here and there a little bit and I really want to get to know you, but my schedule is packed up. You know, you want to meet for coffee or something this week? I'm not going to say no. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna say no. But it's just like dudes just be like want to do the very bare minimum, and then when you be like, yeah, I'm not doing this, they're like, oh, why not? What's the problem? You're the problem. <laughs> you, you are the problem. Like I don't understand. I, and I've told dudes like I'm not finna text all day. And they be like, oh, okay. Like you be, you know how you be the, the meme that says like you real. I be real cute until I tell dudes what I'm not about to tolerate. It's the truth. I be looking real ideal or some until I tell them. I'm not finna deal with this, you know? And I don't think I'm unrealistic with my goals when it comes to dating. I want somebody nice. I want somebody well-mannered. I like. I want somebody who likes to have fun. But these dudes be acting like going out is a crime. Like, oh, no, I can't spend no money on her. Like, what? when did our generation become that? It's so weird. Like, how you supposed to get to know somebody if you don't go out? Y'all think we just supposed to text and FaceTime all day? Am I an inmate? No, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I don't want to get to know nobody through the phone. First of all, my thing is, if I don't like you, how am I know if I like you in person unless we go out? Conversation could be there. Vibe could be there. But that in person vibe is really going to tell you what you need to know. And my biggest thing is, why are we wasting two, three months on just texting and then we get in person and the vibe's not there? I've been on dates with people, you know, a few weeks in and the text and the conversation was cool, but it just wasn't there. I'm one of them girls that want to get it out the way quick. Like, yeah, let's get to know if we vibe in person. And then we can tell if we're going to keep talking or not. I give you 30 days. Babe, you get 30 days with me. After them 30 days, if we have not been on a date, if we have not set a plan to, to do something, we can't talk anymore. Because after 30 days, we've, we're wasting each other's time. Like, yeah, I know you're cool through text, but how do you treat people in public? How do you treat waitresses? How do you, do you hold the door open? You know, do you have manners? How do you eat in public? I need to see these things. If I can't see these things after 30 days, we're wasting each other's time. That's a waste. So all my single girls out there, if you feeling like, oh, where's the sign of leave this guy alone? I really like him, but he's not giving me what I want. This is the sign. Leave him alone. Guys know the type of female you are when they hurt you. Okay? Let me say this. Guys know exactly the type of female you are. And that means anything, and I don't, it's not shaded on nobody. You are from how they approach you. So if you're a female, I'll uh, use me as an example because I can't speak for nobody else. You meet me, my hair is done, nails done, everything's laid, I'm cute, I'm up to par, face is beat. You know, even on, you know, I go to work, I go to school, I have my own car, I make my own money. If you see that, you know for a fact she ain't, she ain't gonna tell her no BS. So if you knew that, why'd you come in with the BS? 
you know? No, guys, no. And what you what you allow what what will, will, will continue. So if you allow them to play around, oh yeah, babe, nah, next week, next week, next week. Oh, I can't, I'm busy. Ah, ah, ah. Niggas that gotta see gotta go. And that's the vibe we're on in 2021. You gotta see? Okay, you gotta go. Simple. It's simple as that. You gotta see? Alright. I'm gonna go see about somebody else who wanna date me. <laughs> no more waiting around, women. No more waiting around, uh, ladies. We're not waiting for dudes to act right. We're not waiting for dudes to figure out that you're a good woman. Because I'm telling you, when he hit you up, when he approached you, he knew you was a good woman. These dudes don't be approaching girls who they know ain't got it right. They know that. That's why they approached you. Hello? Am I, I'm preaching to somebody. Somebody, they know. They know that. And that's why they came over there to try to holler. But now, it's a month later and y'all want to take me out. Bye. That's all I'm saying. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. This is just my everyday makeup and hair. Um, it's just some loose curls. Like I said, it ain't the. I ain't no beautician. I ain't no Arrogante, Alonzo, Arnold. I just know how to put on my little wigs. Like I said, if you have not seen my how I apply my wigs video, I will link it again above, and it'll be down below. Um, this is just a life update. Like I said, we're we're doing doing things differently in 2021. If you took anything from this video. Be intentional with your goals. Be intentional. Write them in detail. Don't just say new car. What kind of car you want? How much you want to save? Don't just say save money. How much? You know, where do you want to work? Where do you want to live? Put these things down in detail and manifest them and watch them happen. A pray, stay diligent. I hope that I inspire anyone with my videos. But this is the first one of the year and I'm so hyped. I'm so happy and so blessed to be here sharing my journey and my story with you guys. I love you guys so, so, so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.